This is question six. Here we're asked to work out the value of x and we're asked to give our answer correct to three significant figures. So what we've got is a right angle triangle. We've got an angle and a length and that means that we, in order to find another length we're going to need to use trigonometry. So in order to do this I'm going to first of all start by labelling the sides of my right angle triangle. So this side 7.8 this is the longest side, and I can call this the hypotenuse. Then, the length which is opposite where the angle is, so where the opposite to 43, I just call my opposite side. And then the remaining side, the side which touches the angle but is not the longest side, I can call that the adjacent side. Then, what lengths are important to my question? And what I can see is that the opposite is important to the question because I'm trying to find out what it is. The hypotenuse is also important to the question because I know what that length is. And the adjacent has nothing to do with this question. So I can just cross that out. This, by doing that, this will help me to choose the correct trigonometric ratio that I'm going to use. So I've got opposite and hypotenuse. And so what that means is that I'm going to need to use the ratio which involves opposite and hypotenuse, and that is so. Then I'm looking to try and find the opposite. Now what I like to do is I like to shade in the one that I'm trying to find, and that leaves me with the two which I'm going to use. So to work this out, I'm going to do S, which stands for the sine of the angle, which is 43. So sine 43, and then multiplied by the hypotenuse, which is 7.8. So working this out on the calculator and giving our answer correct to three significant figures, this is going to be sine 43 multiplied by 7.8 and that's going to give me an answer correct to three significant figures of 5.32 so final answer 5.32 centimeters